All right, what's up, guys? Back on another adventure here with our York YMC squared. This is our chiller number one. Found it with a blank display. Looks like no power. And then I came over, found the breaker had tripped on the front panel, and so I powered it off. Just did a quick visual inspection. Nothing smells bad, nothing smells burnt. Uh, check these fuses, we're good. Our voltage incoming appears to be fine. We have uh, one and two. And our two and three. So we're good there. This is equipped with a smart sensor system, which is this board right here. And That little ball is red, so it says in the description there, if it was black, you would check for your overcurrents and all that stuff. If it's red, no troubleshooting, but contact your Johnson Controls service organization. So, uh, yeah, we contacted JCI and let them have a take a look at this. So, uh, I'll bring you back uh, once they get here and figure out what's going on. So just a little context for background. This is a um, series system. So this is our chiller one. And it honestly does not run that much. Our chiller two carries the facility most of the time. And uh, from what little I can tell, this thing's been off for a little while. Yeah, if the chiller two goes down, They'll definitely be realizing it. I mean, capacitors. That one might look a little wrinkled. As far as resetting the breaker, uh, I was told to hold off and let JCI put eyes on it first. And they'll take it from there. I mean, it's, it's due for a service anyway, so it's good to have them look at it. So this could have been just a uh, power outage or something like that, because we do have uh, a lot of summer storms here. There's been some pretty violent lightning storms and this facility does have occasional outages and so not ruling that out but that's just to uh, have them check it out and our chiller 2 like I said it's been running fine the only thing that's been done most recent was changing the refrigerant uh, control actuator there um, put a new one on this, actually took the one off of here, put it on there when it was having problems and we reinstalled the new one here, um, but that was probably been almost a year now. And I said one's been carrying the facility. Um, definitely sees a lot more runtime. Alright, so now from what a little I know about this, that smart sensor will activate this to trip if it's sensing something's going on. So uh, it may be the case here and nothing wrong, but uh, something caused it to trip. Alright, well, Johnson Controls was out and 
and uh, they resolved the problem. Apparently. There's smoke detectors right there. Were set off by, they used to have some zip ties around these wire protectors and apparently they were melting and that was causing the smoke detectors to go off or, which was causing that safety sensor to trip thereby tripping the breaker so I uh, noticed they're missing off of here so I pretty much cut most of them off I'll put a screenshot in there once you did remove. They do look melted. That would have been my last guess as to what was going on here, but it is operational. Nothing's too crazy hot here. I guess they were just cheap wire ties. Couldn't handle the heat. There's still one back in there. Probably all the ones closer to these passengers. Yeah, so that was it. A little uh, cheap wire tie. I guess these are all the same ones that they use throughout the whole chiller. And apparently they can't handle high temperature. So. Go figure. All right, guys, this one's back up and running. And they went ahead and took the ties off the other chiller too, just in case we don't have a problem with that one in the future. All right, so that was the main problem. Uh, thankfully, that's all it was. It could have been a lot worse. And now uh, we're back up in operation. See, there's a zero load here right now. And we are set for 48. Expect it to be shutting down here shortly. It's that chiller 2 mainly carries the building. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. And that's our chiller 2.